Hey yo, what is up guys, Aegis Rick here, back with another episode of the Aegis Roundtable, and here welcoming the knights who made it to the roundtable today. If you guys don't know how this works, basically I pick five of your guys' comments from any of my videos recently, and as we have been having a lot of Dragon S PvP videos recently, that's what's going to be featured playing in the background. But guys, we got a lot of comments and some long ones, so let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, our first comment comes from Origin Baltic, who in my Crusader PvP 27 video stated, the game is still the same lag wise as it was if not even worse parts when your evade goes on cooldown but you still get hit is the best it looks like every time they patch the game the problems in pvp are just getting bigger it's a fun game yet these things just ruin pvp and make it unenjoyable you rage quit but still come back because it's fun the game is one of a kind that is going down the toilet Thank you, Arjan, for the comment. And, you know, my sentiments are actually shared a lot um, with that kind of comment. Um, if you guys showed up to the stream, I keep mentioning this, but I did do a lot of uh, venting on the situation. It has not changed since a year ago, since when I played before. Um, I was kind of hoping at least minor improvements, but you kind of put up with it. And that really is the reality of it, where a lot of the time shenanigans are happening. You just got to put up with it. So, And, you know, I don't think it's a case of people not complaining about it. I just think it's a case of people not caring enough to, to fix it. And, you know, if I could be completely honest with you guys, I think the reason for that is because there is no real kind of alternative to Dragoness right now. There is nothing similar enough to Dragon S where you can be like, well, screw this, I'm just going to go play another game. I mean, you just got to stick with it because there is no other competition. We're kind of in a bind right here in the West where there's not a lot of games like Dragon S. So I guess uh, putting up with that kind of PvP is what we've gotten, come to expect. And that's what's really sad about that, I think, honestly. Alrighty, guys, our next comment comes from Lord Nick in my PvE Barbarian 5 video who stated, God, I can't wait for DFO. I miss just jamming out to good music, chatting with friends, and PvPing. One of my favorite PvP systems, the random equalized fights, and the gameplay itself, juggling and whatnot. DN has a very good PvP system, but the terrible coding makes it hard to play longer than a match or two. At 24 to 40 cap, I could PvP all day. Not anymore. And thanks for the comment, Lord Nick. And I chose this comment because it kind of goes with the first comment. And, you know, kind of rings true to what I've said before about the coding and whatever's happening right now. A lot of shenanigans, a lot of people teleporting, rubber banding, disappearing entirely, not being able to combo. Uh, it ruins the game because it's not as fluid. Now, if we want to talk about DFO real quick, DFO's not without its problems. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite PvP systems. Uh, for instance, it's really simplified and there's like not really any evasives. You know, mostly it's damage cap once you reach it, but I think it's very useful for a 2D uh, kind of system. I personally enjoy Dark Blood Online PvP more in that aspect, but we'll talk about that once we get there, Nick. So make sure you guys stay tuned on the Aegis Rick channel. We're going to be doing a lot of DFO kind of content. Alrighty guys, this next comment comes from Muhammad Abdul. Muhammad Abdul. I mean, uh, Ferris. Mohammed Ferris. Who in my Crusader PvP 31 video stated, That was an epic fight, man. Was really awesome. I think you should try to juggle him more by using Lightning Strike. Cause I noticed you forgot to use it when you got the chance to juggle him airborne a lot more. Warning, stay away from the glowing floor. It gives you negative 10 light attribute debuff, thus giving him more damage. Continuous damage as well. And it gives a huge blast when it finishes. However, when he casts that skill, his super armor is slow. So always take the chance to cancel it. I know, because I happen to have an Inquisitor. And thanks for the comment, Muhammad. And can I just say, guys, I've gotten a lot of tips and criticism on my latest uh, PvP videos. A lot of praise, too. I really appreciate it. But I gotta admit, comments like these that Muhammad gave me are really, really helpful. I know a lot of you guys are criticizing me or telling me what to do about the playstyle uh, changes, like, hey, you should use this more or do this. Uh, those are not going to be too helpful for a lot of people because it forces them to play a certain way, play the way you want to play. I think comments that give me a lot of information, uh, like the one Muhammad just gave about the consecration and the light debuff and all that, I had no idea about any of that. So that's something that I can use in my own playstyle, and I think that's probably the best kind of comments. I'm just saying that as a suggestion. It's not that I don't read comments or anything. I read all the comments and I appreciate all of them. It's just that the most helpful ones are the ones that are uh, informative, I guess. So again, thank you, Muhammad, for the comment, and I will definitely take note to all of that information. Appreciate it. 
Alrighty guys, we've had some pretty long comments. Here's a relatively short one from DN Funks in my PvP 33 video who stated, Would you recommend getting Stomp Kick Action Speed Plate though? And thanks for the comment, DN Funks. And do I recommend Stomp Kick Plate? Here's the thing guys, Stomp Kick, Holy Kick, and Roundhouse Kick, all of these kicks are nothing new to me. These are not new concepts to me that didn't exist when I used to play actively, you know, 40 cap and all that. Uh, these were definitely used all the time. It just seems as though ever since the addition of the Holy Kick EX or the, you know, the add-on that you get at level 6, it has become a lot more viable uh, strategy to use the Holy Kick into Roundhouse Kick uh, combo. Uh, the Stomp Kick, however, has not got any such change, so it is still as potent as when it was before, and by that I mean pretty damn potent. You don't have to rely too much on combos that are uh, that are juggle combos. You can just keep knocking your opponent down to the ground and continuing your combo by stepping on them. Now I have a stipulation that you do run into the problem still about the latency. If there's any kind of latency in the match and you are not able to get the stomp kick off like what happens very often with me, it might not be a very viable option. You can do without it though. So. Just have you know, it's a really good option if you have good matches. Otherwise, it's not necessary, I wouldn't say. Alrighty, guys, our last comment comes from Sir Skulls. I really like the name, by the way, who stated in my Crusader PvP 36 video, I want to see a Barbarian PvP equals three face. And you know what? That's awesome that you said that because as I release this video, I'm also going to release a video of, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a capture of what we had on the stream. I actually had a really good fight on my Barbarian, had a lot of good fights actually with both my Crusader and my Barbarian, but I'm going to upload my first Barbarian video. Um, it's going to be one of those matches that was really good on the stream and, uh, just another plug in guys to make sure you guys subscribe to me on twitch.tv slash aegisrek. I stream, uh, every once in a while and we do PvP and stuff like that so we can have a lot of matches. I went for three hours during that stream so if you guys want to make sure to stay up on that, make sure to follow me on Twitch. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the knights who made it to the round table today. And I just want to leave by saying thanks to everybody who's submitting comments. I know a lot of you guys are hype about the Dragon S PvP. That's pretty much what all I've been uploading recently. And so I really appreciate it. Uh, yes? You're not done, are you? I'm about to be. I'm almost finished. I'm, I'm doing my outro. Wait, 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 wait. Well, introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Magnus Rick. You sound very similar. And guys, I just want to interject into this video and state what kind of games I'm playing on my channel. The Magnus Rick channel, where I'm doing action-adventure playthroughs. You guys have been seeing some footage in the background of some game I've been playing. Hearthstone, Curse of Next Ramus. You guys can see the full playthrough there. Also, we're still playing East Origin, and we're getting into some good portions, guys. We're finally going up the tower, and we're pretty much halfway through. So if you guys want to catch playthroughs of that, make sure you go over there to the Magnus Rick channel and subscribe please are you done yeah I think I'm done but anyway guys thanks for watching and I will catch you guys oh, oh, later. later see I, I did pretty good you sound just like you, you really do. Thanks.